Hey weirdos, it's Victor and today I want to challenge our straight heteronormative community and world and everything. <laughs> now we see movie posters every day. Old movie posters, new movie posters and all of them are filled with straight romance. Almost all the time. And that's not a bad thing. I think that's beautiful. Love in general is beautiful. And that is why I think that LGBT love is not enough represented. So to challenge that today, I am going to Photoshop a bunch of famous movie posters and make them gay. <laughs> and because I've always wanted to be a movie star, a Hollywood legend, of course I will edit me into those photos and remove all the women. <laughs> no offense to women but I'm gonna take their place in this video just to send a little message that it's okay to show gay love as well. I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter what kind of movies you wanted me to make gay posters of and you sent in a bunch of suggestions. Let's go take some photos, shall we? Okay, so now I'm gonna have a photo shoot by myself where I pose as all these lovely women that I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna try a few now and see if it works and if it does I'll I'll do the rest as well. So I'm gonna try to focus on posters where only like the, the face is the main thing because it's so hard to photoshop me onto women's bodies. The only thing that's good with that is that I have really like I have like women's arms. I have arms like a woman slender and beautiful. So maybe it'll look uh, okay. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna try is Titanic. I'm gonna do Bella here and she has a little bit manly arms, so I think that's I think that's gonna be okay. This is how she stands. Bella Swan, the stone face. And the next one is Mr. and Mr. Smith. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this because she has on like a really dressy dress and it's like, it's a woman. It's really basically a woman and how I'm gonna edit that, I have no idea. Am I being a little, Brad, a little bit of Brad Pitt in now? Oh, I'm not supposed to be Brad Pitt, I'm supposed to be Angelina Jolie. Oh, this is gonna be a more easy one. I'm doing Notting Hill and that's really easy because it's just her on a poster. No one can do the Julia Roberts smile though, I'm not even gonna try. Fifty Shades of Grey! <laughs> okay, let's try. Ooh. It's really weird trying to pleasure yourself here, like... Uh. Sorry. Okay, I feel like I'm playing a porn now. <laughs> I wonder how this is gonna turn out. I really wonder how, how this is gonna turn out. I'm not that good of a photoshopper, okay? So don't expect something really good. I know this poster is already gay, but I have to edit myself in this. Okay, so now I've taken some photos and I have photoshopped some photos, so let's go through them, okay? The first one is Titanic. Uh, a bunch of you suggested that. Yeah, I, I think it looks okay. It's not bad. And also I think it would be a really exciting story to see with a gay perspective. I think it's really, really interesting and I think it would be a beautiful movie and it will add a few layers, I think. Now, the next one that was suggested is Twilight and of course I had to do that. I had to Photoshop me in there as the human and like the werewolf and the vampires are just fighting to get me. Isn't that everyone's dream kind of for werewolves and vampires to fight over you? No? No, is it just me? 
It's probably just me. <laughs> and I just have to say it, I look like a total bottom on that poster. I am fully aware. The next one was the one that was the most awkward to take photos of. It's Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I haven't seen this movie either, but I know there's like a big hype over it. I know what 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 it's about, kind of, I think. And um, I don't know. Would it would it be would it be cool to to see this as a gay perspective? I don't know really. And yes, here comes the one who's already gay, Brokeback Mountain, but I love Brokeback Mountain so much that I couldn't I couldn't resist. I had to edit myself into that poster. And also some of you guys wanted me to do this poster, so I did it. So this is one of the few huge movies and huge movie posters that really show gay love. I'm I'm glad that this movie is out and that it's okay to show this poster and stuff to to represent the LGBT. Okay, and here's the next one, it's Notting Hill, and yeah, this is maybe the most basic one. It's just like a huge poster with a movie star on it, so I just I just splashed myself onto that poster and just edited Julia Roberts away. Notting Hill is a beautiful romantic story, so it would be interesting to see it as two guys. Yeah. And the last one I did was Mr. and Mrs. Smith, or what we will now call it, Mr. and Mr. Smith. This, I think, would have been an awesome movie. It's a cool action romantic movie, and it's just... So, so brutal and hot and, and exciting. And I think it would be really cool to see this as two guys who were two agents on different firms, or not agents, they're actually kind of assassins, or yeah. Just think about the, the scene in the house where they just blow their own house up because they're shooting at each other and fighting and wrestling and pow. Wouldn't it be so cool to see if two dudes did that? Mr. and Mr. Smith. It even has a good ring to it. I think it, it sounds really good. Okay, so that was the posters I did and I think, I, I, I don't think they turned out that bad. I think they turned out pretty well. So I want to go back in front of the camera and take a few shots more and make a few extra posters. This was fun. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna do is Fault in Our Stars. I'm gonna pretend to be lying down while standing up. Maybe that'll work. And the last one for today is gonna be The Notebook. Yes, the famous notebook and the famous rain poster. So, for it to look real, I should have wet hair, shouldn't I? <sighs> okay. The hair is wet. Passionate! Passionate! Okay. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> okay, so, we did Fault in Our Stars. I actually haven't seen Fault in Our Stars as well, but I'm really happy how this turned out. I think it was really important to photoshop the tube from the nose and stuff to show that the guy was still sick and that's still like the main point in the movie. Um, but I think it would really be beautiful to see two guys really love each other when one of them is really really sick. And the last one we did was one of my all-time favorite romantic movies, The Notebook. And it was really hard for me to edit away Rachel McAdams because I love Rachel McAdams. I'm so in love with her. She is like the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Their love is already forbidden because he's from a poor family and she's from a rich family and blah 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 they move and blah 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 and they finally finally get together after many years and just still know that they love each other and that's a really beautiful love story isn't it 
So that was all my posters. If you liked this video and liked my gay posters idea, please give it a thumbs up if you want a part two. What poster was your favorite? Please tell me, I really wonder what kind of posters were the most successful ones. And also, if you post one of these posters on your Instagram and tag me, I will follow you back and like the photo, I promise. Now, don't forget to stay weird and be your beautiful selves because you are so cool and you are so cute. Don't, don't, in, don't interrupt me while I'm, while I'm complimenting them. You're cute, you're cool, you're beautiful, and you're just freaking awesome, okay? Bye! Uh...